Seen it. Oh, wow. This tournament went by fast. Yep, this is losers finals right here. So best of three situation. Alderness versus Pink Fresh. And uh, what do you think of this matchup? Now? Again, I feel like it's the same as Steve Terry, or at least similar in the fashion of both Mimmin and Steve want to keep Terry out, but he has a couple tricks up his sleeve, you know, getting in with the burst options, the frame data. And but the thing in this matchup, I think Minmin gives Minmin an edge is the two frame. Terry is one of the most, if not the most susceptible character to two frames. I can certainly see that. In addition, I feel like the aerial mobility is, is another big problem. Like this. Terry is oh, many wow. things, but he isn't particularly mobile. We're kind of seeing there like a lot of stalls in the air, and every time you toss out one of those stalls, you're just giving Pink Fresh the opportunity to guess correctly and claim the stock. Like Terry has a lot of op a lot of ways to mix up his options off stage, but Min Minnie can cover all of them really easily. Agreed. So now Pink Fresh stuck in the corner right there. Does get clipped with the down tilt, but another opportunity and the aggressive jump from edge with a couple extra hitboxes oh. for Alternus. And the air dodge to the ledge. Alternus doesn't have many options left. Still, though, able to make it back, and he's going to roll right into the forward smash from Pink Fresh. Good parry. I believe that's. No, not going to convert it to the upbeat. Oh, and the get-up attack, too, actually catching Alternus directly <laughs> afterwards, twice in a row being aggressive. You see him laughing in the camera after doing Buster Wolf into Megawatt. <laughs> it having... turns out the Terry wasn't okay. He's having fun. He'll love to see it. Down throw. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Big damage coming out. 74 out of nowhere. And he's going off stage for these edges. He's been doing that all day. I don't know if that's the play here versus Min Min. And Pink couldn't get the turnaround. You saw a little bit of like a shake of the head. And then right there, Pink Fresh raising the hand. I feel like a little bit of frustration perhaps as the execution has looked a little bit off for Pink. And I mean, we've seen a couple uncharacteristic errors like just facing the wrong direction or tossing out the wrong attack. I think this is more so Alternus's momentum just you know, he's hot right now. Agreed. He's putting on the pressure. Just big, just got a big win over Nick District and Justin Violet. He could take this very realistically, but I don't know Pink Rush just wants none of that. He is zoning him out right now. Finally gets an opening. Gonna jump over the Buster, um, yeah, the Buster Wolf. Oh my God, the name in my head for the move was, are you okay? And I almost said, jumping over the, are you okay? <laughs> That's why I love calling it the wellness check. And yeah, we're going to see Pink Fresh take the first game. Two minutes, 46 seconds. You know, typically, these sets go a lot longer, but they're coming out swinging today. Like, Alternus' gameplay is just forcing Pink Fresh to just play a bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of, it does feel like that's part of that is the matchup. Like, Pink Fresh definitely wants to cover landings. He wants to aggressively claim space just because oh, sure. of how difficult it is for this character to seize it again. Like, Terry is, Terry is many things. He's a good character. He ain't swift. That's true. He's just a big guy zooming around. Yeah, he do be swinging occasionally, but uh, problem is he didn't have that 40 time to keep up when Pink Fresh is able to just toss is, out a Megawatt Hammer and retreat. Is Terry Bogard an American, like in the Fatal Fury lore? I believe so, yes. Okay, don't I, I don't know why I was... You know what, never mind. I feel like I just had to know that. I could just look at him. Yeah, he, he is the whatchamacallit. He's like the stereotypical version of what other people think Americans are. Yeah. <laughs> The yep. trucker hat. Yeah, exactly. The trucker hat. Little, oh, my God. Oh, not getting the spike. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alternus keeping him in the corner, but going to get hit by that megawatt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, I don't know what that was. That was some spaghetti right there. The player just unable to get hit, but Alternus closing it out with the jab, jab, power dunk. This, on paper, I feel is a very good stage for Mimmin just because she's able to control it super well. This but might be Mimmin's best stage. It might be. Alternus doesn't care. He picked it. He got an early stock. That's just what he came for. Up tilt, it looked like. It isn't going to combo, but certainly going to set up for that Megawatt. Whoa. 
75% here and this match is starting to spiral away from Pink Fresh. That's just kind of Terry in a nutshell though. If you allow this character to play with Go, you are going to be in so much trouble. Alton is big change of pace from the last game. He's just running over Pink Fresh right now. Oh, not going to be enough to make it back to the ledge though. He really just pulled out all the tricks in the books just to get past those arms. Platform drop aerial from Pink and then the aggressive neutral air again to just catch Alters trying to jump in. Big damage coming up. Pink fresh down, but can definitely make this comeback happen. The old one two, I love that every single time. You think you can stand or get up, but you never can. It's always the mid-mid player setting you up for failure. Yeah, it's just a timing makes up everything. But this has been an immaculate stock from Pink. We talked about that for a minute. Six percent oh for the God. full stock. Is that was neutral interaction after neutral interaction. Pink first won them all. Just completely just stopping Alternus's momentum because he was running all over him the first couple stocks. Yeah, Alternus, 79 out of nowhere. Does he have a jump? Okay, he's going to make it back. But Pink Fresh, oh wow, not getting the punish there. That, Thank God. That, that was crazy. Yeah. Great. Wait, he has Go Meter. This is Rage. This isn't even game, yeah. This is Rage Terry. I don't know. Anything can happen. Here. I think you die at like 60 to uh, Buster Wolf. I think he dies right now. I think he dies right now if he gets it close enough to the ledge. Oh. Hey. Oh, the parry? That, Wait. That's, that's dead. Wait. That's dead. Oh, that's my it. God. I, it was about 60%. Oh 76 after the hit. That is messed up. Big Fresh played perfectly for like two and a half minutes. But one parry is all alternates needed. Exactly. The oh. thing is, in that situation, like, I know Pink Fresh, like, he's going to try jumping mm -hmm. just to avoid the combo starters, but... I don't know if Alternus could have caught him lacking right there if he didn't get a parry. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, definitely like the, the the smile and then to pull up the phone and be like, I gotta tweet this. I gotta I gotta tweet this. You like that parry? <laughs> exactly. Meanwhile, Pink Fresh is like, man, I'm Zeno just here trying music. to get some diaper money. I got a family to provide for, and you're you're taking away part of my paycheck. Come on. Does he have a job like outside of Smash? Oh yeah, of course he does. But 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 he made the joke when he uh, when he had his kids that it's like, yeah, this is this is diaper money. <laughs> Weeklies are providing for his family. This is full dad mentality right there. Imagine just he saves up enough Smash Bros money, sends his kid to Harvard. Exactly, that's going right in the college fund. Three, two, one, go! All right, running it back to Smabblefield. Smabblefield! The new name for small battlefield that I came up with. Smabblefield or Saddlefield? Smabblefield. All right, you do sa you do Smabble, I'll do Saddlefield. No, Smabblefield. Smabble, excuse me. Smabblefield. Only Smabblefield in this house. Got you, got you. Uh, I don't know who ha has the advantage on this stage. It's a really small stage, not smaller than Smashville, though. It looks like, to me, the Pink Fresh has the advantage on this stage. That is my expert analysis. That is my contribution to this. Well, that's just Min Min. I was just going to say, that's just what happens when you get carried off the stage because Pink Fresh is freaking god at this game. Alternus mode. Alternus, though, not not really phased by it. Going to edge guard him with the power wave. And then having enough with the tether to make it back, though. Tether is always a little bit better than I think it is. <laughs> every single time. I, I underestimate think every single gone. tether in this yeah, game. Yeah. Like, I started playing Pokemon Trainer. I'm like, I can make it back from here with Ivysaur? What? Oh, I think that Pink Fresh, you saw the little head shake right there. Pink Fresh was 100% trying to run off stage, DI in, and then toss out a Ram Ram. But he flicked in a little bit too early and instead got the instant, like, ledge snap instead of the DI in. That is so unfortunate. Pink definitely had the right idea. Would have grabbed the stock. Jab, jab, up B, though. That's going to take it. One more hit, and he will have go meter. Which I really think is one of the deciding factors in this matchup, just being able to take those super early stocks. And he really wanted to spike right there. Not going to get it, though. Alternus, yeah, going to get the jump called out, and that's a dead Terry. Yeah, Ram Ram into a Power Dragon Laser covers so much space. I feel like it's sometimes barely even 50-50. Yeah, that was all really Alternus could have done right there, just recover high and being fresh slowly but surely getting better and just being ready for that high recovery. I desperately want to see Pink Fresh, just I irrationally want to see Pink Fresh reflect those, pow those uh, power waves. I don't know. That could happen. I don't really see it being like... Just as a little, like a little middle finger right there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just like, you're going to try to camp me? No, I do the camping here. 
your camping is now my camping. Head on. Uh, the rare Terry back air connecting from Alternus' side. Dying. And even a rarer Terry F smash not connecting. Get back throw away. This is dead even right now. Finally catching the high recovery with the upbeat. Alternus having no options but miraculously surviving. Going through the arms. Oh, Wait, jump that? away. Yeah, we have to get out of this spot. So now Pink Fresh has to roll back up, but the auto turnaround bailing it out. The triple jab, though, Alternus reeled back in the chair. I think that was 100% an attempt to buffer the up B. Go meter online, however, Alternus is off stage, and that is the bicycle kick to close out it. The stock. Man, that was a close game. Nail biter for sure. There were like three or four situations where either player could have secured the game, and all of them just, just a little bit of spaghetti right there. A couple errors. I think if Alternus pulled the trigger with the jab, jab, downbeat, I don't know if it would have killed, but it would have put him in a much better situation Great. than what he was given off of just doing the one, two, three. Anyway, we're getting the Fatal Fury music, I think. Yeah, we're in a do or die situation for Alternus's Terry, so you gotta go ahead and get the music counter pick going. Bangers only in these Bangers situations. Bangers only in this house. Like, you see that Alternus doesn't use um, headphones. No, this is game audio only. And I, I have to not listen to my own music. I love the game music, but I like my own music when I'm trying to walk in. I like the uh, the game audio. Like, I, there are just some matchups where I, I use game audio for combos. Well, yeah, you need that against, like, Snake or something. But honestly, I've been learning how to play games without audio. Like, last time I ran Mario Kart with the boys, I had no game audio. I was just in my own music. Gotcha. With Mario Kart. That, that's kind of irrelevant, but Pink Fresh taking it with the Megawatt. I just have to go ahead and hold my breath right there because I wasn't sure who was going to die in that spot. It felt like Alternus was trying to go ahead and get a reversal with some of those burst options, but instead, Pink Fresh, very patient in that position. And this is Alternus's tournament game. If he doesn't pull something here, he's going to be out at third. Nothing to scoff at, but second is third. Yeah, this is a, Alternus is a competitor right here. We, we are 100% unsatisfied unless we're coming away with that dub. Either way, Pink Fresh going to get out of that confirm right there. Yeah, that was this might be a not a stock. good high recovery. Like He's this a 26 is... for recovery. Pink Fresh is looking really good all of a sudden. A lot more Ram Ram, too, to cover a lot of these vertical approach options from Alternus. It is paying off in this position. Ram Ram into double Ram Ram. The Megawatt, though, air dodge, but it doesn't matter. Alternus didn't have the double jump. Pink Fresh, what a game in a do or die situation for Alternus. Yeah, just pulling out all the stops. Didn't really look like there's anything Alternus could have done despite the previous games being super back and forth. LRA start, bro. LRA start. <laughs> That's literally, in that situation, just like, yeah, you just didn't let me play at all. Rough, yep. indeed. So that means we're going to be getting Pink Fresh with the run back Against opportunity. Slashy. Against Slashy. Slashy has won the last couple matches that these two have played, and... Do you think we're going to be seeing a different character from Pink? Uh, Pink Marth? Nah, I think that we'll see Pink, uh, Pink's uh, Mimit, Let It Rock. Uh, we could see the Marth, though. We could see, like, Maybe um, Corin or... Corin, yeah.